Hello Leo, I hope you're doing well. My name is Harley and this is Manifest Leo 13. We are going to be coming to you today, me and my ancestors, with a reading for the full moon tonight. Okay, um, I believe in Western astrology, it's in Cancer. So to be honest with you, it's most likely truly in Gemini. Keep in mind, I am a 13 sign sidereal reader. Um, thank you, by the way, to everybody who's been booking those astrology readings. They've been really fun to do. They still are discounted on my website. Um, my candles are on my website as well. You can check out the link in the description box. This is the love candle. We have the money, which is obviously one of my favorites. Um, and also the uh, astrology candles. Thank you to everybody who's been purchasing those. We did add after pay to the astrology uh, candle website. Uh, so you guys can pick up candles for like eight, nine bucks right now. So check them out if you want to. Uh, if you have ordered the evil eye candles or the banished candles, the cleanse candles, those were actually um, shipped to the warehouse today. So we should be sending out tracking information Monday or Tuesday, no later than that. I'm excited because I can get my evil eye candles and my cleanse candles, which I'm just excited to get because I know they smell great and... They look cute. I'm just excited to get them. I love cute stuff. Maybe that's just me, but yes, thank you to everybody who's been getting those. All right. So let's see what the full moon reading is about today. We have the first house, the body. All right. Interesting. So I just heard Meg the Stallion body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Okay. Uh, okay. We have faith at the bottom of the deck. Let's get more about this. What is going on for Leo? What is this full moon about for Leo? What do they need to know? We have Mercury retrograde reinvention. Yeah, I was going to say this. I was going to say diet, but I didn't want to sound stereotypical. So for some of you, if you have like a good diet res regimen and you work out or whatever, don't worry about that. Um, that might not be for you, but for some of you guys, you're really going to be working on getting the body that you want. Like small little things is what I'm getting. I don't feel like these are big, huge changes, but you're going to be like, taking the smaller changes to create bigger changes, if that makes sense. So like, you know, instead of getting fries, you may get a salad or maybe you just don't get fries. Maybe you just get a sandwich, something like that. Little things, whatever, right? We have solar eclipse. I feel like there's a goal that you want. There's a goal and you're trying to accomplish that. So eating habits are very much highlighted here. And I know you guys are like, we don't want to hear about that, but that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> I have to read what I'm getting. Okay. Any other messages from the Oracle for Leo? Any other messages from the Oracle? Let me make sure my mic isn't being blocked. Let's see. Any more messages for the sign of Leo? Okay. Yeah. All right. So Spirit is definitely wanting to highlight how maybe some of your habits are blocking some of your blessings in your life. Okay. So I don't know exactly what you have planned, Leo, and what blessings you're trying to bring in, but your spirits are saying it's something about your daily routine, your habits, and maybe even your health. Now, for some of you, this could be like literally changing up your wardrobe. So some of you guys could be getting a makeover like or doing a makeover. Uh, so for instance, let's say you're in uh, the business world. You may not be able to like walk in with your Chucks and your My Chemical Romance shirt on. You know, you may need to actually shop at Zara or different places. So some of you guys, this may be reinventing how you're seen because the first house is the house of the ascendant. So there's something here about reinventing how you're seen. This is important. And they're saying this is important because it's blocking your blessings in some way. Now, if I know Leo's and I do, this is something most likely that you're very prideful about that they're speaking about. It's something you already know you need to change, but you're like, nah, that's a part of my image. That's who I am. I'm not changing it. Okay. So now, if this is not talking about you, Leo, it could be talking about somebody else around you. But for the most part, when I get things about stubborn things that we don't want to change, especially when we feel like it's a part of our identity, we know what time it is. All right. So let's see. What love messages want to come through from the oracles? Let's see. All right. Let's see. Yeah, something about your image just came to mind. Your love like nails in my feet. Okay, somebody can't move on from you. Someone says they're stuck on you. The fox. This person could be an Aquarius. This could be somebody who's avoided, emotionally avoided. Maybe somebody you don't even trust. I have to, I am, that's the fox, you know. Uh, could be a water sign. King of Cups was at the bottom of the deck already. Could be a Pisces, definitely, with the hangman there. Some of you guys may need to get rid of a Pisces or somebody who makes you feel self-conscious. That's deep. Okay. 
Let's see. The Ace of Pentacles. See, they keep talking about a blockage here to your money. So for some of you, I have to say that there is some sort of blockage in your money. I, I, I don't know how this correlates, but they're saying there's some sort of blockage in a financial opportunity because of the way that you're perceived. Or maybe you don't feel confident enough to go after the way, uh, go after the things that you want because of the way you look or something. I don't know. That's that's a very specific message out there. I kind of want to see what more about it, but let's see. We have the hermit, the judgment. Okay, let me. I'm gonna pause that really quick and see what is this thing that this image thing that you keep talking about, spirit. I have to get more about it. The king of cups. Oh. Okay, we talked about this. All right, so <laughs> for some of you, it's literally um, your pride. I, your pride or your ability, your, your, there's something about you looking like you don't need help or that you can do it all or you don't need, you don't need a partner. You don't have space for a partner. You don't want a partner. Yeah, there's something about your image that's like scaring off a king of cups. Maybe you want to scare this king of cups off. Some of you guys don't though. So I don't know. Maybe some of you are trying to manifest new love. Maybe this person's already in your orbit and they're just like, well, Leo doesn't have a place for me in their life. So <laughs> yeah, you know, or this could literally just be a blockage that keeps occurring in your love life. So if you've been experiencing this, this could be an issue. Um, or for some of you who are wanting like a reconciliation, um, this is a very strong indicator that uh, someone doesn't want to come back around because they feel like you're fine without them or that you don't need them. There's something, and I feel like Leo, this is something you do all the time that they're, they're highlighting this with this person specifically, but this may actually be something that you struggle with the, you know, of course you guys love to come off like everything's okay and you're strong and you're fine. And you know, but it's the, the King of Cups is usually a generous lover to me. I've spoken about that. He's become the generous lover. Um, his cup is big and it's open. OK, so he's ready to share possibly resources, love, whatever it is that you feel like you need. And uh, yeah, they feel like you don't need them. OK, or this could even be like in business as well. Like there could be. Yeah, mm -hmm. could be even in business or at work. There could be somebody who's wanting to offer you funding or offer you a hand. Literally, you know, this has a hand in it. They want to offer you help, but they feel like you don't need them. So you may need to be like a little bit more open with the fact that you're open to connections or help. OK, we've talked about this a few times in your readings, Leo. So this is just a continuation of what we've been talking about. And this is coming through from the full moon. So we have the Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So you guys, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah. Somebody wants to tell you something. Uh, a few of you may have somebody blocked. So that also could be an indicator. Or if you block this person and even if you unblock them, they could definitely be like, well, you know, they blocked me. So they don't want to talk to me, whatever the case may be. So, yeah, somebody has plans for you and they want to act these plans out. But they're like, I don't think Leo needs me because Leo is the strong and mighty lion who doesn't need anyone. Okay. <laughs> And, you know, maybe that's the case. But for a lot of you, I feel like this reading is coming through because you need to hear it. Clarify the King of Cups in the outcome, please. Clarify the King. Okay, I'll take it, Spirit. The Empress. All right. I was like, should I take it? They were like, yes. Six of Wands. So the outcome is actually, yeah, this is somebody who wants to, they want to put you on a pedestal. I won't lie. They kind of, maybe some of you, they want to take you out of work. Like not, maybe some of you, maybe some of you want to live that soft life. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Please. I've been living a very hard life since I came into this world. Okay. Um, so listen, I'm not going to say I'm in my soft girl era, er, uh, era or whatever. I will say that I've learned the, the value in having a softer approach to things, you know, not always having to be so hard. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, some of you guys, this person may actually want to kind of like, I don't want to say retire you for maybe some of you, that is the case. Okay. Listen, it's the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Some of you, this person wants to retire you. Now they're not saying that they want full financial control over you. This is the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. We would be having a different story and he better not bring his ass out. But anyway, the King of Cups being shown here is saying that this person is not trying to do this from a place of controlling. They are actually are very generous. This is their love language. This is how they see you specifically. They want to give to you. They want to 
For some of you, retire you to the point where you can do whatever it is that you want. So if you want to run a business, run a business. If you want to have children and stay at home with the children, you have that option. Okay, this person is in that type of energy. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, no, this isn't for me because I wouldn't want to live that life. Well, then that may not be for you. But this particular that that's probably why this person is staying away from you. So, again, maybe you want them to stay away from you. For some of you, this is another Leo. I just heard that um, or an Aries. But yeah. For some of you, they want to give you a child. They want to have a son with you. Okay, some of you, they feel like you have a son. Maybe that's another thing. Maybe they want you to be able to stay home with your child. Um, yeah, Empress, Ten of Pentacles. They want to give to you, but you're like see, feeling like you, seeming like you don't need them. And they think a lot about this. This person is a hermit. They don't, this is someone who stays at home. I don't feel like they're married. I feel like this person is single. I feel like this person is someone who stays at home a lot. OK, um, they may work and go home, work and go home. This person's older. They're not young. This doesn't feel like somebody who's young and in the streets. This is like somebody who's more mature. I just keep hearing they ain't got time for that. That's what they keep saying. I don't got time for all that. Like this is somebody who wants to settle down and they want this with you. For some of you, they want to fund a business. They want to get your business to the point where you don't have to worry about money. So you can just be in this empress energy. If you're a man, then, you know. That might be the, maybe that's issue, especially y'all, uh, July's and y'all, uh, early August. I know y'all ain't in the chat talking because a lot of y'all need a woman who is more in her supportive energy. We'll just say that. And y'all don't be wanting to accept that. But, you know, I'll say the, about the 14th and on the 13th and on, that's when you get the super masculine, I, I'm the provider types. So maybe you have an issue with this. I don't know. But I will say that if you're a man who dates women, then maybe it's from a specific point where this person wants to add to your life in some way. Maybe they want to give you a baby. Maybe they want to help your life be more softer. Like they want to decorate your house, cater to you, that sort of thing. And you're like not open to it. You're all hard. You, you hide your emotions, king of cups. Okay, whatever your gender is. This person doesn't want to take away from anything. They want to add to your life, but they feel like you, they don't have a place to, to, to put this. We talked about this in the Queen of Wands group today, my, my empowerment group that I have on Facebook. We talked about this on our reading today. So it makes sense to me. OK, so, yeah, some of you guys, especially if you have a social media presence, your social media presence comes off as if you don't need it, this person. And that might be a part of who you are. And it could be a little bit of this person's problem because they are looking on the outside in. But spirit is saying that this is something that you need to be open with. Like maybe you need to find a way to like. Be open to connection and help, but still have this this strength about you. Okay, grace is what I'm hearing. So I hope that this makes sense. Let me know what y'all think. This was very interesting, and I'll talk to y'all very soon, Leo. If you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the description box. I have a Leo's only read where I go over the next 30 days for you and money and love. Make sure you check out the candles, especially the astrology ones, the uh, cleanse, evil eye. Y'all be asking me about protection. That one actually comes with the evil eye, money candles, all that. You can get those at like eight and nine dollars if you use the uh, afterpay we put up there. And yeah, guys, I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.